Is Canada really back? His neglect of foreign policy has The conservative attacks in this fundraising video are numerous as they seek to exploit the blemishes on Justin Trudeau's record. But it seems one attack went too far. And he's failed to negotiate the release of two Canadians arbitrarily imprisoned in China. Those two Canadians are Michael Kovrig and Michael Spaver, essentially diplomatic hostages in the feud between Canada and China, held without access to lawyers, apparent retaliation for the arrest of Meng Wanzhou, the Huawei executive facing extradition to the United States. But anything I can do to help Canada, I will be doing. Trudeau has been asking world leaders to add their voices to Canada's cause, including the loudest voice of them all. Excuse me? Are you planning to bring it up with President Xi when you meet with him? I, I would, at Justin's request, I will absolutely bring it up. While the United States and Mexico were negotiating their opportunities with the new NAFTA. Given the high profile and the high stakes, the Conservatives tried to fundraise off the lack of progress. CBC News contacted the Conservatives when the video first published last week. The party defended it, saying, we feel it's important for Canadians to hear about these failures. But since then, Kovrig's family complained, asking that their detained loved one not be used in a fundraising video. Well, once we heard from the family members, obviously we, we, we want to respect that. That family is going through an awful lot right now, and I can only imagine the type of anxiety that they would be feeling about a loved one who's being, uh, being held. Kovrig's family declined to comment when contacted by CBC News, except to say there is no longer an issue now that the pictures have been removed. In a statement, the Liberals said it is disappointing that the Conservatives would use a diplomatic crisis to solicit donations. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. Donations are, of course, critical for political parties as they campaign ahead of this fall's federal election, now less than 100 days away. According to the latest filings with Elections Canada, the Conservatives raised $8 million in the first three months of this year. That was more than double the Liberals' fundraising efforts. The NDP and the Greens are well behind. 